I just picked up the best Starbucks drink I ever had in my life. No kizzy. My bed looks nice, warm, and cozy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, friends. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hey, go ahead. My name is Jutera. Since you have already made your way to my channel, you might as well just stay around, okay? Because the vibes here are immaculate. I promise you, you're going to enjoy yourself over here, okay? So, today is most likely a vloggy vlog. Uh, Y'all, I just left a doctor's appointment and. Girl, I had to get blood, baby. When I tell you that needle, that needle hurt it. Like, nah, I don't know what. I don't know what it is. Like, I could get attacked. I could get a piercing, and I'm big dog flexing in there. Like, hey, don't nothing hurt. My pain tolerance is crazy. Like, I'm good. When I go to the doctors, baby, it's a different story. I am in there. B i t c h i n g. I'm. <laughs> I'm like. A little scared little girl like what is this what's going on so also please excuse the fact that i am vlogging off my phone right now i was just trying to make this my appointment so i didn't even think about taking out my camera and i'm currently about to head into target because girl we need some things okay i don't need to just go to target so target can tell me what i need no baby i need some things so like i'm about to come on my mission soon so i need to get some feminine products i want to try out this new body wash that i've seen everyone raving about on tiktok um i need some new face wash because i'm running out of the one i have and i want to try a different version of the la roche posay that's how i say it i don't know if i'm pronouncing it incorrectly but whatever cleanser i usually get i want to try a different variation but from that same line um and then what else do i need there's something else there was five things menstrual products face wash body wash oh and i need some hair care products because i really need a leave-in conditioner and i need some gel so i should leave out with five things and a starbucks drink okay i want to try their like iced pumpkin latte so let's get to it okay i haven't eaten anything yet it's only 11 something and i fast until 12 p.m so i'm starving hopefully the drink like helps me out and girl i got some groceries being delivered to my house soon from safeway so hopefully i don't take too long in the store so my groceries aren't just sitting by my door my neighbors are cool like i've never had anything stolen from me but it just gives me a little bit of anxiety you know when i'm taking too long so we got them running here yeah we're gonna run in here and i can't wait to try this drink y'all i haven't had any fall drinks yet and it's the middle of October, child. That is bad, but let's go see what they got, okay? It's so good, actually. Y'all, why is Target playing music? Do y'all Target usually play music? I don't know. I bet not get copyrighted, but anyways, this is one I normally get, but I want to try this one. And since they're playing music, I'm going to hit y'all up when it's time to get my Starbucks because... What? Okay, so boom, we back in the car with him. I'm about to give y'all a quick little Target haul because I was really in and out. And we love that for me, okay? I just picked up the best Starbucks drink I ever had in my life. No kizzy. No kizzy. So I got a grande iced pumpkin cream chai latte. I added two pumps of brown sugar, two pumps of vanilla. This. It's so good. Like, it's a creamy consistency. You still taste a chai. You taste a little bit of pumpkin. Not even. Just a little bit of pumpkin. But you get that, like, cinnamon nutmeg vibe. The brown sugar, the vanilla is sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's not overpowering. Oh, my God. They ain't put too much ice. I ain't even having to say, like, ice. Love that for me. Okay. So, y'all already saw this. I wanted to try the natural line that everyone brings about but this target doesn't sell it anymore so i picked the method body wash instead i've had this before um while traveling because they have really cute travel sizes and i love the way it smells i love the way it's like feels on the skin it makes you feel super moisturized after it so love that i'm going to try this conditioning custard just because i need some type of moisture when i'm doing my slick backs Picked up some more Eco Craft. I was thinking of trying another color because I've never tried another color besides this one and the green one, I think. 
But they got a black one. They got a dark green one. I don't know, girl, but I said stick to what you know, baby. Stick to what you know. And then, of course, I also got my, um, what's it called it? My sanitary items for my cycle or whatnot. And my groceries also got delivered at my house. I'm like 15 minutes away, so I'm like a head home because that just gives me anxiety. But yeah, we about to pull off. Her about to pull off and go home, honey. And do y'all want to know what else gives me anxiety? Because I said in my last video I was going to start being vulnerable and talking about things that y'all probably could relate to and unfortunately something that really gives me anxiety now is the holiday season and i don't i know exactly why but i really don't appreciate it because when i tell y'all i used to love the holidays and i still do i'm not gonna let anything get in the way of my holiday cheer you know but it just sucks when you lose the head of your household and you feel like that was the glue that kept your family together and now like you realize you don't talk to certain people or they don't reach out and talk to you some some people that you used to see every day like i used to live with certain people y'all and i don't talk to them no more and it's just like crazy and it's a mutual thing it's not just one-sided and it just sucks when you know the reason and like you you know like losing someone affected all of us in different ways i completely understand that it just sucks when you like lose a bond or like i don't know the effects of it just freaking suck so now some of the family members that i was like super duper close to now we're like um happy holidays and happy birthday family members you know like the people that you talk to once in a blue moon please scan your ticket or scan your thank you for your business and i just hate that Like, that's so freaking frustrating to me. So, the holiday that used to be my grandmother's holiday is, it was Thanksgiving. She will always host, right? Hold on, let me get a sip real quick while I'm at this red light, because, baby, this one is good. So, yeah, y'all, my grandmother used to host Thanksgiving. And even when she was getting older and a little more ill, like, during the later years of her life, my mother would take over and cook, but it would still be hosted at my grandmother's house. Feel me? So, girl, the last, what, two, two years, my Thanksgiving's been ass, like, no cop. One, okay, I ain't gonna say ass. I'm over-exaggerating. It's ass because it just reminds me of her, so it sucks, but one thanksgiving was cool i spent with my boyfriend's family and they are so like warming they are so warm and welcoming and i absolutely love that like from jump when i as soon as i met them it was like i was part of their family love that like, like they really took me in and i felt at home in their house during the holidays and like during other events right cool and then no cap like i'm, <laughs> I'm not saying this to like I want y'all to feel bad for me because it's not that I chose to, but like one Thanksgiving, y'all had Chipotle for dinner. Like that ass, like, <laughs> that's crazy. I wasn't in a mood to be around nobody. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to cook nothing. And I'm a foodie. If you know me, you know, baby could eat. Baby girl gets down. Like, so that was just crazy. It just sucks. Like, Christmas don't hit. Like, people don't be showing up to family dinners. It's like, uh, it just sucks when like you're in your 20s and you have to ask your family members and like your parents like so what we doing like for the holidays like that I just feel like everything should be in order already like I sh the only questions I should be asking is what dish you want me to bring what time I need to be there and like I need to get together my Thanksgiving uh <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Sir, because you don't even have the right of way, baby. I could hit you if I want to, but the pedestrian has the right of way, so I'm going to let you go ahead. But get across the street. What was I saying? The only questions I should ask are those. And the only other thing I should be worried about is what I'm wearing to the living room. That's what I should be concerned about. Not all this extra. Da -da -da. So... I think I was with my dad for last Thanksgiving. I don't even know if that was Thanksgiving or Christmas. I literally cannot remember. I have a really bad memory, y'all. I'm trying to work on that. But, yeah. I don't know. It just sucks big butt. And then my mom, she's a caterer. So, I don't be trying to get in the way of her business. Because I think one of the holidays last year, she, like, was selling plates and, like, giving back to the community. I love that. I can't wait to, like, get in my philanthropy bag and do stuff who like her in need i can't wait to do stuff like that but knowing that we're in october and i still like don't i don't know what i'm doing for halloween thanksgiving christmas new year's crazy it's also 
my boyfriend and I's um, anniversary. So this year we're actually going to a cabin, y'all, with my friends. Bitch, I'm nervous because what? But y'all, we are dead ass going to stay at a cabin in North Carolina out of all states. But never been to North Carolina for real, for real. And I just started blacking in. <laughs> and me and watch that movie, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, but they stayed in the cabin and they was getting fucked up. Like they was getting killed. Like <laughs> So girl, I'm scared. Cabins scare me. Why are we going to a cabin, y'all? But I signed up for I didn't already send my money and all that. So we going, babes. We going. So pray for me. But yeah, y'all, I don't know. There be a whole lot, a whole lot of. I miss my grandmother. Because she did her big one with the holiday season. Uh, like my parents, they don't even be wanting to like put up no decorations and shit. Like I had to tell my dad that shit, like put your Christmas tree up. Like, uh, where's the holiday spirit? <laughs> That's the only reason why like I look forward to having a family of my own because then holidays are gonna mean so much more to me when I have a child that I'm like investing in and making sure that they have a really good experience because that is their entire childhood, you know, like. So yeah, at this point I'm rambling. I'm like really close to my house. So I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all, baby, because I don't even know what we doing next in this world. Friend, girl, it's been a minute. It's been some days since y'all guys seen me. Cause guess what? Your girl has been sick. Sick! Like literally had a cold, girl. I was down and out for like three, four days, child. I was going through it. I came on my cycle. I was just, ugh. I was just sitting here struggling, girl, all while I was on PTO. Why would my PTO? Why Why when I'm on PTO would I be sick and on my cycle? Like, a girl can't even call out sick because you're already off. That's crazy. I just knew that um while I was off, I was going to take so much time to, like, film hella content. So all I had to do throughout the week was just, like, edit. But basically, I did the opposite, and I edited the content I had filmed previously so like that chick check get ready with me and whatever video went out before that um luckily I film in bulk so I always have stuff to edit just in case life happens so yeah we were prepared okay let's be prepared over here but I feel like I've been in a slump I was just sitting down in my bed riding away so now I'm trying to like get myself together so dang my man is blowing me up let's but yesterday I did my hair. I didn't film it because I already have a quick tutorial on my channel. I'll like link it somewhere, maybe in the comments for y'all. But I did film it for TikTok because I don't have a tutorial on there yet. And y'all, lately I've been making some coin on TikTok, girl. So we're gonna be we're gonna be messing with TikTok a little more frequently. Yeah, I did my hair yesterday, and then I'm about to get into some skincare right now because I need to shave this face and just ugh. I need to get my life together so I can feel like me again. Okay. So while my face is wet, I just wash my face. Um, I like to use the La Roche Posay line. Right now I'm using the purifying foaming cleanser. I also have the gentle cleanser. I like the way it makes my skin feel, but I hate the consistency of it because it feels like lotion. I can't I can't get you with that no more. Like it'd be pissing you off low-key. So this one actually like suzzes up really nicely. Um and I like all my soaps to lather really well. So yeah. Right now, um, while my face is still wet, I'm gonna go in with the snail mucin. This one is from Jamiso because that other one be uh out of stock everywhere. Y'all know which one I'm talking about, so somebody said they also sell it at Costco though. But when do I ever go to Costco? So like what? I'm not going to Costco just for that. I really like this. Um I can't compare it to the other one because I haven't used the other one. But I like the way this one makes my skin feel, so that's all that matters. And I'm going to get my spoolie and like brush my hairs down because we're going to also get these brows together. Because girl, do you see my little brow? Like, please be so for real. We, we have to get that gone. Okay, y'all used to get bullied over my unibrow in like elementary school. Girl, boy, y'all, okay? I wonder where y'all are at in life now. Who's laughing now? It's like, nah. But yeah, just pull out the skin and just, I always like to shave down. 
or like away i don't shave like i don't know just do whatever make sure hand feel comfortable but this blade is from sephora and i absolutely love her and if you have acne like me just go around it ew it looks so slimy that's the snail mucin and stuff but if you have acne like me just go around it because um if it's active you don't want to like upset it and then i just clean up around my brows and i'm also getting myself together because my man is coming over tomorrow <laughs> it's so funny how i'm starting to film these like um living alone series videos and whatnot and my man be over here constantly girl sometimes it don't even feel like i live alone but when it do it do so plus i still want to give advice to my girlies who are living alone in their 20s but yeah we gotta clean this up because i can't be out here looking like him we cannot have matching mustaches <laughs> oh yeah once i'm done shaving i just brush the hairs up and i take these itty bitty scissors and i just trim the front i don't like to trim anything else for real for real. uh sometimes i do the tail So I'll do it just to show y'all. I brush them straight out and then trim like the very ends. It barely makes a difference. But I don't know, this is just how I keep my brows up. I haven't let, fun fact, I haven't let anyone touch my brows since my second year of college because this lady, she took away all my freaking eyebrow hairs. And she messed me up right before I had a freaking photo shoot. I will never forget that. Just a model in college. So we had to do these little photo shoots to like promote the show. <sighs> I was like, all right, let me get my nails, toes, and eyebrows done. I used to go to nail shops and get my eyebrows done when I was living in D.C. Like, as like a young game, like going through high school and stuff. And they ain't never messed me up. So I'm like, all right, y'all out here in Charlottesville, Virginia, better not mess me up, girl. They definitely messed your girl up. I was distraught. Like, I had to do my eyebrows every single day, like going to school, going to practice. And I hated it. I felt so ugly. Because <laughs> I'm not being dramatic when I say, oh, she took a little bit of my eyebrow hairs off. Girl, she took off half of the eyebrow that I have now. It was completely gone. And I'm not, girl, all of this. It was so thin it was just gone this one never grew back the same i'm i think i'm about to invest in a eyelash and eyebrow serum since i don't go get my eyelashes on it anymore because yeah she really did me dirty this used to be my favorite eyebrow and so she messed me up now this is my favorite eyebrow because she grows back right this one is lacking up here it's like thin <sighs> okay so now it's time for hair right did my hair yesterday, like I said, boom, and I wrapped it. So we're going to see what this looks like now. I straightened my hair, like my natural hair too. I don't want to do that anymore, so when I go to the store today, <laughs> that probably look good, girl. When I go to the store today, I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to get some flexi rods because I'm not putting no more heat on my hair. Um, And if y'all want, I can show y'all. I'm, a, I'm actually going to because I already can hear y'all in the comments now. Show me. I'm going to show y'all how I wrap my hair. It's real easy though. It ain't nothing to it with the door. This is the reason why I hate doing it though because every time I wrap my hair, it always gives me a dent on the side that is opposite, if that makes sense. This side be straight, which makes sense because that's how you wrapped it. You wrapped it away. This side always got a little oomph oomph going on. But you can't tell me this don't look so natural. And I only pressed my hair out a little bit, which is why it's still showing. It's also bluntly cut, so it's going to show. I ain't too concerned about that because I'm a curly with the flat, uh, flexi rolls and it shouldn't curl. But unfortunately, the store I'm talking about going to later is Target again. Didn't I just leave Target a few clips ago in this video? Like, dang girl, you going again? Yes girl, I'm going again. I have to. I need cleaning supplies. Because I'm having company come over tomorrow. 
and then I'm having more company come over in like less than a month from now. And I don't know, I I don't host a lot, but when I do, I'm the hostess with the mostest. So whenever I have people come over, I do a thorough deep clean of my house, even if it doesn't need it. So yeah, I'm running low on toilet cleaner and tub cleaner. So I gotta give me some of that. Um, These white towels you see right here, I'm tired of them. I wanna get some like brown or terracotta, uh, what's that? texture like waffle texture towels if you know what I if you know what I'm talking about I love that texture that will also match my um the outside of my what's this called girl my shower curtain so I think that'll look real cute um and then I also need to warm I need warmth in my house, so that's the purpose of getting those towels. I want to get a new duvet cover for my bedroom because the I got all white right now, and right now it's just looking real sterile. Like I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. I want it to be welcoming and warm. Now that we're going into like the fall, and we in fall, girl, but like fall and winter. So yeah, I don't want to sit here and ramble. But yeah, I'm gonna go finish getting ready. I need to put on like a hoodie or something because I think it's cold outside. And I'm gonna check back in with y'all when we are in my living room going through my Target stuff. She's at like 9 a.m. in the morning. And they just got delivered or whatever. I should get rid of my delivers, um, my delivery charge that I put on there, my little tip. I should get rid of it because that lady just made me come down and get my groceries by myself. Girl, if that was the case, I would have went ahead to the groceries by my damn self. But anyways, I ain't gonna do that though. She was nice. Um, yeah. And I'm glad I didn't leave out though because she would have been like, oh, you're not there. So yeah, I'm about to eat first because I also forgot I didn't eat today. And it's like one o'clock. The little fasting situation I be doing, like, I'm I'm doing it a little bit too good. Okay, because I'll be i be forgetting to eat, girl. So yeah, I'm about to make me some mussels. I don't know if y'all like seafood, but I love seafood. I actually should be a pescatarian, honestly, truly. And then we're gonna go to Target and then we're gonna come back and show the goods, okay? Is it happy or is it just me? I'm so happy that you're smoking on this weed. So I'm gonna take a shot on three. Good morning, y'all. Please do not mind that over there, okay? Disregard, but just made my bed. This is how the duvet cover came out. I did the duvet roll trick that you can find on TikTok. But my bed looks so warm and welcoming. Like, it just made my entire bedroom look way more welcoming. Because y'all know I got the black blackout curtains and a black bed frame. So, I don't know. Everything just looks so better now that I have warm colors in here. I literally just took these two pillows off my couch. Because <laughs> I always felt like I had too many pillows out there. It used to get on my nerves. Um, They need to start selling these duvet covers with my in the what is it called sheets to match it because this brown was not no like i do have cream sheets that i'm gonna put on my bed next but they're getting washed right now 
But yeah, I had to wait until the next day, y'all, because always wash your bedding, okay? So I washed her, dried her, of course, and then put her on bed. It's to give it what it needs to give, okay? My bed looks nice, warm, and cozy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah.